as they said in an attempt to clarify, um, it didn't sound as if it was getting more clear, it sounded as if it was getting less clear and less understandable and actually continued to propagate the same point of view. I think when you run a, a global amendment, such as the personhood amendment was in 2008 and 2010, and possibly this that they're going to run in 2012, you have no idea what the possibilities are for its full manifestation or how it's going to affect the public. They bespeak uh, wanting to eliminate abortion, but there's no doubt, even with the new language, that they want to eliminate hormonally based <laughs> methods of birth control, that they want to eliminate um, in vitro fertilization um, or the byproducts of in vitro fertilization, <laughs> so that people who access in vitro fertilization and perhaps are not successful um, might not be able to redo the procedure. Um, they uh, also, as they did in 2010, um, sound like they're going to be talking to folks about the end-of-life decision-making. So in other words, it isn't opening up rights to people, it's closing down rights to individuals and their families in personal, private decision-making. So, when they declare abortion to be murder, are you worried that that will invoke Colorado's current murder statutes, which include life in prison or death penalty for premeditated murder? Uh, well, I'm not an attorney, so I can't speak to um, all possibilities that their amendment would cover. Um, as I said, no one ever knows the, the lengths um, of any piece of legislation or certainly an amendment to the Constitution. So I can't comment definitively on that. Um, there is, of course, always that possibility that someone would make an attempt, if this were to pass, someone would make an attempt to prosecute an individual. There always is that possibility. Were you surprised that the personhood measure failed in Mississippi? Well, that's the first part, I guess. Uh, no, I was not surprised because they led a large effort to have the citizens of Miss Mississippi, the voters of Mississippi, understand that this was a restriction of their rights in very personal <laughs> private decision making and that it brought the government right into the doctor's office or right into their own homes to make decisions for them. The voters in the state of Colorado have not thus far agreed that this is appropriate either for the Constitution of the state of Colorado or for the rights of the citizens of Colorado. And I just can't see that the voters in Colorado would change their position on this.